Good afternoon. Oh, no, sorry. Good evening. This is Tina. Uh, I hope. Uh, no, this is not my last video of today. So, in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, next. I couldn't remember because I'm gonna insert this video after the error handling. I think I might cover the next in other videos. And this video we just think about as a summary or just as some part might be new, okay? I couldn't remember the other videos are recorded, okay? So anyway, we are gonna talk about this next callback, okay? Uh, next, do you remember in our app, in our Express, no matter we are using uh, app.use or app.get or app.post or even using router.use or router.get, route.all, those, we're gonna give a middleware, right? And a middleware is just a simple function which has a three parameter response a uh, request response and a next and this next is also a callback is a function okay okay so next is three ways to use that for this callback the first way is when we call next and directly add the parentheses without giving any parameter it means go to next request handler suppose uh, here we have uh, two middleware request response next okay and uh, as we know for the express middleware it will go through the request gonna go through the middleware based on the order they are appear inside our source code so a request we are gonna go to this route uh, this middleware first after go meet this middleware if we don't pass the next here don't they call the next here then it's gonna stop here nothing will happen because we don't have anything respond here they're gonna stop here okay and if we want to pass to another one we have to go to another one called next and then this one means go to the next router so the request we are request response will pass to another to the next and you can call next here to continue to pass to next router Ah, uh, sorry, not the router, the middleware. The other one is the next route. This one means skip current route. I actually couldn't find a use case for this one. Skip current route and go to next one. Uh, it might be based on a condition because my condition are not uh, that difficult. This one you use it based on your condition if you want to skip or not. If you for certain scenario, I will just skip it. Like, uh, like, uh, uh, I anyway I couldn't think about it now. Okay, so the other one is the next. You call and here you put something else here anything except uh, this case and uh, the first case and the second case and this one it will go to error handler directly okay so now let me give you some uh coding part okay so here this is our this demo after the error handler and I comment these two routes uh, just for uh, test this uh, upload use uh, next okay so here I'm gonna have a three three middleware here the log uh, this is the first middleware okay it's using first like this way okay and then we're gonna have the second middleware gonna have third middleware okay. second 
I'm gonna have a third. Okay. So here on a third wheel, I will give a response and okay, done. Okay. And now, if I make a call, okay, to the root, and it will all you only see this. Uh, in our console, in our terminal, you want to see others because it didn't call the next, it want to go to the next router. And in this middle where there's no response. So you will see the browser will always like uh, loading, loading, loading there. So let me go to my terminal. And uh, I think here I have one. Okay, this this one, the same one. Okay, let me comment which node, I was using node moon, okay? Node moon app.js, okay? So now I will go to our browser and I call the localhost 3000. You will see this is the first middleware and here, did you see the browser here? My cursor here is always loading because it doesn't know how to stop it. We don't respond here and it doesn't know how to go to next one. So in order to make it work, we can give next, okay? It means go to next middleware, and then we continue, go to next, it will go to next one. And eventually it's gonna respond like this. Oh, it's already success, okay. So now let's go make another call. Here, you will see first, second, and third middleware. It will pass one by one, okay? So now the thing is, suppose here, uh, if we add, we, 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 we switch, we, we, we call next route. If we do like this way, there's nothing gonna be changed because it will, next it will go here. After this one print, it will go to next route. Next route is already here. So if I do now, there's nothing gonna be changed, right? But if I switch this one, to here next route it will skip this one and it will re, re rend end okay then after skip it's gonna come back because here here after this next route you still have something you didn't finish this is a strange behavior okay let me show you see here this this is the first middleware this is third middleware means skip the the next skip of my current right and skip it will go down but when we do like this, which means your middleware is not done, so it's gonna come back. And in all, so that's why you see the second middleware too. In order to stop, you have to return. Return means ex uh, exit. The request is done, okay? So it won't go back. So now I'm using this one. Hey, did I, did I, did I restart, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Doesn't it work? Hey, I tested just now. It works. Which is interesting. Anyway, return means exit, right? But why it still goes back to here after I return? Let me add a return here see if it works okay uh, it doesn't work now <laughs> anyway then i'm confused okay so which means after you do next route don't do anything else because just now when i call return it uh, probably i did something else oh uh, no Anyway, I'm done with this. Song. I was thinking after returning, gonna ex uh, like ex exit this current uh, request, you know, then it's gonna go to something, some, it will not goes back to here. But it, this one kind of like, hey, let me add a return here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to add a return here. Because after add a return here, then this one obviously won't be called, right? Because this one return it won't come. It means this uh, this entire callback is done. Okay, then it won't. My okay. I don't know why when we add the return it still goes back. Anyway, so the problem is 
when you're using next route, it's better we use with return, which means if you don't want to come back. Otherwise, you will see if we don't do like this one, it will still come back and run this piece. Okay, it doesn't work if I add a return here. I have to take a look at the documentation again. Okay, uh, which is uh, very interesting. Okay, so anyway, you did you see uh, what is next route doing? Okay, which means skip current route and go to the next one. But unfortunately, if without return keywords, it's gonna come come back to call to continue on the second route. Okay, so last one is the next something else. Okay, suppose here I call. Suppose here I call next, and uh, some something else okay and then I go go to previously we see down right but now you will see something broke see here it goes here and uh, which means next if you passing something else here and it will directly go to our error handler see here it will go to our error handler that's why you see something broke and it didn't see this third middleware because the stop here directly go to our something broke. Okay. And again, here you have uh, the second middleware. It's so it's better if we do like a next route or next something, it's better to have a return statement because we finish in this route, right? And you will see something broke and it only go here and say go to a second uh, middleware and directly go to the uh, what's thing error handler okay so that's it for our uh, video about next and uh, if you know more about this uh, scenario please leave a comment okay thank you very much and see you bye bye